Hi, I'm Dr. Dan from L Vitamin Pro, and we're talking a little bit about GABA. We'll do a few basics here. Now, GABA is a principal inhibitory neurotransmitter for our brain, and we have two types, excitatory and inhibitory. And think of it as brakes and gas. So if uh, the inhibitory neurotransmitters are putting on the brakes, and the uh, excitatory, it's like, it's like stepping on the gas. So if there's anything out of balance here and your, and your body can't regulate GABA pr uh, properly, then, it, then you're going to have a little bit too much acceleration. And, you know, if your brakes don't work right, you're going to be in trouble because, you know, the first thing you have to do if you're going to build a race car is you're going to have to have good brakes because, uh, you know, burn your brakes out, the race is pretty much over for you. So, you know, that's why GABA is so important. And understanding a little bit about it will help you to choose foods a little bit better, uh, maybe choose some supplements that will help regulate GABA so that, that your brain can be in proper balance, you'll sleep better, and you'll even have better energy during the day. So why might a person have some problems with, with GABA in the first place? Well, anything that causes any kind of brain inflammation can, can typically affect GABA as well. Now, brain inflammation can, you know, it's probably a list of a thousand things we could go through, but it's best just to say that, you know, any insult from chemical uh, contamination in the environment, you know, heavy metals, pesticides, herbicides, that sort of thing can certainly have an impact. And, of course, so can diet. Um, so what I always recommend, of course, is that you choose organically whenever possible to uh, eliminate you know, as much chemical contamination as you can, choose organic and free range. And remember that, like I always say, you know, you get to vote a few times a decade at the polls, but you get to vote every day with your dollar. So, you know, if you uh, want to see more healthy choices, then buy those. So, the other thing has to do with uh, specific dietary things. Now, when we see brain inflammation, one of the first things we always ask about is, is this person gluten sensitive? Because a lot of people are, and it's a whole other topic. But, you know, it's, there are some uh, um, antibodies that can get into your brain and in, inhibit certain enzyme pathways, and that will certainly disrupt the GABA balance. We've seen that happen a lot, and there's a lot of scientific literature to back that up. So just know that if you're having brain inflammation, get gluten tested properly, and we can walk you through that is a good is a good plan. Now that, that gluten's not the only food, we have some other testing that we'd like to do as well to uh, test uh, common foods. Um, you know, we won't go through the list, but you know, if you're having brain inflammation, you need to look at that. Now as far as supplementation goes, there are some things you can do that will that will be very helpful for your uh, GABA balance if uh, if that is deficient. And, of course, we can do some neurotransmitter testing to determine that. But uh, cabinase from neuroscience is one of the products that we use very typically. And it has two, uh, two main ingredients that are helpful. Uh, first is taurine. Uh, taurine is, is useful because it's actually an inhibitory neurotransmitter in its own right. But it also, uh, it also helps in um, aiding GABA synthesis directly. It acts as a GABA activity enhancer. Uh, it prevents GABA breakdown and it slows uh, GABA uh, reuptake. So, you know, it's going to help keep the GABA in your system uh, a little bit longer. Uh, the other thing is 4-amino-3 uh, phenylbutyric acid and that crosses blood brain barrier very nicely as does taurine. And it's a, um, you know, it's a gamma byproduct and so it, it also helps to, uh, to regulate the GABA receptors. Now, I mentioned that blood-brain barrier, and that brings up another topic, that if you're taking GABA, because you can order just, uh, you can order GABA from uh, different sources and capsules, and if you, some people feel quite, quite mellow when they take that. Now, that indicates two problems. Number one is that if you take GABA and you notice anything at all, then you have a GABA deficiency, but you also have a problem with your blood-brain barrier because that should not get into your brain. So that should just be metabolized in your body and uh, turn into its, to its basic components. So, you know, if you notice anything from taking GABA, you know, just taking it's not going to help you. We need to back up 
and fix some of that uh, blood-brain barrier activity and figure out why you're, uh, why you're having the GABA problem in the first place. Now, another product that some people use is uh, Apex Energetics Gabatone, and that's similar to uh, Cavani's, uh, but you know which one of those works better for you is uh, not important to me. Just finding what works for you is, is uh, what we're after. So they're both excellent companies with excellent products. So if you find one of those works better than the other one, then by all means use that one. Um, the other uh, component here is that if, if um, you're having GAB issues, you're probably also having serotonin issues. And you're, in order to get the proper um, result that you want here, you most likely you're going to have to supplement with something like Serene from, uh, and, or Travacore, both from Neuroscience. Those can uh, help uh, achieve that, that inhibitory balance that you're looking for. So anyway, that's the, uh, the basics on, on GABA, and we hopefully that was helpful for you. And of course, there will be more information on our website. You can look that up and read through it. And we hope that was helpful for you. So thanks for listening.